Graphene OS provides access to two additional permission toggles that are not available in stock Android OS. So for this explanation, I'm going to be referencing the official documentation on grapheneos.org. This allows you to disallow both direct and indirect access to any available network. It's also worth noting that the device local network, local host, is also guarded by this permission, which is important for preventing apps from using it to communicate between profiles. So some people suggest using a firewall app on Android, and what that does is it blocks the connection after the request has already been made. But by using the network permission toggle, this prevents apps from using the network via APIs that are provided by the OS. So instead of that connection request actually occurring, disabling network permissions via this method blocks the app completely from even making the request to begin with. So instead of using a third-party firewall app, which is kind of like a band-aid on the situation, the network permission toggle cuts it off at the source. There's also one more note on here that the network permission toggle is enhanced with a second layer of enforcement and proper support for granting slash revoking it on a per profile basis. So if you want to remove network access for an app, this is the way to do it. So just to give a quick example of how that works, I downloaded some apps to demonstrate this with. I don't recommend downloading these apps at all. So this one, IP geolocation. So we can see here that the app was able to get my IP address, which means that it has network connectivity. If we now go in, edit the permissions for the app, and we disable network permissions, so now if we go back into the app, invalid IP format, please insert a valid IP. This error message is just poor programming. It should say could not obtain IP address, not invalid IP format, but that's besides the point. The app was unable to get my IP address because we fully revoked network permissions from the app. So a common use for this permission toggle, let's say you have an app you don't fully trust, such as Gboard, which is the Google keyboard. Some people prefer to use this over the stock keyboard that comes with Graphene OS. You go ahead, install Gboard, revoke the network permission, and then you can be certain that that app will have no network connectivity. And so the second toggle that comes up in questions from time to time is the sensor permission toggle. So the sensor permission toggle disallows access to all other sensors not covered by existing Android permissions. So sensor covers everything else that's not explicitly listed in the permission manager. And that includes gyroscope, compass, barometer, thermometer. So by default on Graphene OS, all apps are allowed to access the sensor permission. This is to avoid breaking compatibility with Android apps. There is currently an enhancement issue open on GitHub to disallow the sensor access for system apps that don't explicitly require it. So if you have the skills and time available to analyze the system apps that don't require the sensor permission explicitly, I'm sure the Graphene OS team would appreciate the help. So again, to demonstrate how that sensor permission works, I downloaded a Compass app, and we can see here the Compass is working as expected. But if I go in to the Compass app and the permissions, and we don't allow the sensor permission, so we can now see the Compass app is no longer functioning because the app no longer has access to that sensor. So in all honesty, most people don't really need to revoke that sensor permission from their apps, but if you want to, you can go through and revoke it from apps that don't explicitly need it. So I would caution you against removing it from system apps as that could cause some unexpected issues, especially if the app needs those permissions to function. But besides that, hope that cleared things up a bit. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below and I'll see you next time.